What's up everybody, this is Dan Dan the Fireman here. I am in my sandals, ready to do another install video. Today, I will be installing the Fuel Pack FP3 from Vance & Hines onto my 2012 Harley Sportster. So in order to install the Fuel Pack for the 2012 Sportster, you need to make sure you have the correct model number. For me, the correct model number is 66007 for the Harley Sportster, that's the 2012 model. Another thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to find your ECM. For me, I could not find anything online, so what I did was actually had to go through my Sportster manual and locate it. So what you have to do here is pop off your battery cover. Now this is all Plasti Dip white back uh, last year when I painted everything white, but right here is your ECM. This is what you're gonna plug into when you need to find trouble codes and what you're gonna be plugging into when you connect the Fuel Pack FP3. So what you do is you pull out this black plug. All that is is to you know prevent dirt and grime from getting inside of it. Now once you've located that, you're gonna pull out your Fuel Pack FP3, which comes into here, and it's pretty simple. It comes with an iOS installation guide, and it comes with a Android installation guide. I have Android, so I will be following this. First off, it tells you if you have a certain brand of motorcycle to where to find the ECM. I just showed you that for the Harley Sportster, but if you have anything else like the Touring model, the Street Rod, or even the Dyna or Softail, that's where you can find it. Now it says connect the Vans & Hines Fuel Pack FP3 to the actual bike. So this is what it's gonna look like when you open the box. Simple, super simple just the fuel pack itself, nothing fancy, straightforward. So now I'm gonna connect the fuel pack to the actual bike. Now if you notice, there's three pins and then you have this locking portion on here. On here, there is three springs and one of them is missing a pin and then here's the locking portion in here too. So obviously just connect straight into that. Wait for the click, it is all connected now. Step four says turn the ignition and handlebar run switch to the on position, do not start the engine. After a couple seconds, the LED on the fuel pack will be flashing. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Now that the fuel pack is flashing, it says for step five to select the fuel pack FP3 app. Now the great thing about this app is that you can actually download the app onto your phone before even buying the fuel pack. What you can do then is you can run a test, like you actually have the fuel pack attached to your bike so you can see how the interface works, so you can see all the options you have with the fuel pack. So I've already done that, but right now I'm gonna connect it to the actual fuel pack. Fuel pack FP3. Allow the fuel pack to connect. One new device. Connecting with my fuel pack. Now one thing you have to really understand when it comes to the fuel pack and your bike, once you connect it, once you pair it, it is married. You cannot get a divorce with it. You cannot use this fuel pack on a different Sportster to tune it. You can use this fuel pack to diagnose codes on other Sportsters or other Harleys that have the ECM, but you cannot use the fuel pack to auto-tune or to tune or map your exhaust or air filter or anything to the Harley. Okay, so now, it's, now it needs to update over the air, so I'm gonna let it update. So while it's doing that, I'm just gonna kind of walk around and relax. Now that it has updated, you need to look up your specific exhaust. It's connecting to the services. I'm gonna click RSD because I have an RSD tracker two into one. I will be using the slant two into one map. Oh, there goes my instructions. RSD slant two into one stock 200cc. So let's go ahead and pick with the standard baffle. So it's gonna give you all this information and it even shows you a picture of the exhaust just in case you might have gotten the wrong one. But I will be using this, I will be flashing that. It's, it's giving you a warning saying that if you're gonna be um, doing this, it might affect your performance. Now one cool thing about this is that if it doesn't work for me, if the new flash and the new map does not work for me, it actually decreases performance or I feel like it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, I can always revert it to the original map, which was the map that it first started. It saves that, I'm able to revert to it. Another thing that I'm gonna be doing later in another video is I'm gonna be auto-tuning it. I read the instructions and I read a lot of the facts is that you're supposed to do the auto-tune over the course of one fuel tank. So that's gonna be its own little video series in and of itself. So go ahead and click subscribe if you wanna see that. And then right next to it, there's a notification bell. So you will be notified every single time I post a video and you'll be notified when I post these videos on the Fuel Pack FP3. Okay, now it says that please turn your bike off for 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
So that's resetting ECM step two of three. I have to lead the bike off for 15 seconds. So while it's doing that, I would like to talk to you about GetLord.com. Now, if it wasn't for GetLord Cycles, I wouldn't be able to afford the fuel pack Vance and Heinz, to be quite honest. It is an expensive product. It's $399 MSRP, but I was able to get a nice discount from GetLord.com. So they are sponsoring this video. This is a full disclosure on that. But if you guys want to check them out, they do super fast shipping. I bought it on September 12th and I got it on September 14th and I'm across the country. Please go to getlower.com, find the fuel pack there, order it. Plus, if you order over $100, you will be getting a t-shirt of your choice. So now that step two out of three is done when it comes to flashing the new map, it says turn the bike on, Bluetooth will reconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, once I did that, it says on here that I just programmed my bike with the FP3. That was easy, share. So it wants me to share this with social media and stuff. I don't think anyone needs to know that. Plus, I don't think anyone cares. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click done. Now it says it's reading the system. Now it says it's reading the system. So there's auto tune, view and edit maps, maintenance, view sensor data, and search for a map. Customer support and system information. So now that I have flashed everything, I would love to check, check out and see what the maintenance does. So the, I wanna read the trouble codes on my bike. So it says P0152 engine running rich, rear. So I'm gonna click that. No additional information is, is available. So this thing will actually find out codes for you. If I don't feel like I have the capability of doing the maintenance for the engine running rich in the rear, I can always take this to a mechanic and then this way they know exactly what I'm talking about because I can give them the trouble code and I can tell them exactly what's happening. Another thing I love about Sportster is that I bought a Sportster manual so maybe I can actually look up this code and I can work on this myself. Well guys, that is how you connect your Vance & Heinz Fuel Pack FP3 to your bike. Now what you can do is you can leave it on and do an auto-tune service on that, but I don't have any zip ties, I didn't bring any, so I don't want this thing bouncing around inside my battery case. So what you can do now that you have mapped it out the bike is that you can take it off, put in the black plug back in to the ECM, put it all together and take the fuel pack off and kind of set it aside for now. And that is how you flash your bike to a specific exhaust that you got from Vance & Heinz, or if you have a different exhaust that isn't a Vance & Heinz, they recommend flashing to a map that is a similar exhaust to the one that you got. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much to Get Lord Cycles for sponsoring this video and making it possible, and I truly appreciate you guys watching this. But I hope you guys ride safe, be protected, and I'll see you guys later.